Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I thought that I would try out two, two of the viral pink powders that people have been loving to put under the eye to brighten. In the past, I've used banana powders. They've been too yellow. I've used other like pinkish powders. They've been too pink. So I am very curious about these viral pink powders. If you guys are, are also curious to see how these work for my skin tone and also on deeper skin tones, then just keep watching. So my plan is to try these both on myself and I've already tried them both on my daughter. So I will insert a picture towards the end of what it looked like on her, both of these on her beautiful brown skin. Let's start off by talking about the products. So we're comparing the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. And in here you get 85 grams of product versus the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And this one's in Cherry Blossom Cake and you get 20 grams. That is quite a big difference. You get three ounces versus 0.71 ounce. So less than a third of the product in here than in here. So you pay for the name generally and the packaging. So this one is a plastic kind of like shake out like baby powder dispenser bottle. And this one is Huda Beauty's like luxe box and packaging. So we'll start off with the pretty pink powder. There's no explanation on how you're supposed to use this. The back just has a barcode and the front looks like this. It was sealed initially, but I did take the seal off to try it on my daughter. So you can dispense it into the lid if you want to, but it's a very, very small lid and I just got it all over my, my pants. All right, so this is what the Ben Nye powder looks like. No detectable scent. And the shade is right here. Now moving on to the Huda. Has a little stopper. And that is what the powder looks like. It does look like a slightly lighter version of pink. There's the color. Definitely has more brightness to it. This one is an intense pink and this one's more of like a like a white, almost chalky pink, Ben Nye Huda. All right, so, <clears throat> and yes, I do have watermelon earrings on, even though it's still technically winter and a hoodie because it's cold out, but I am ready for spring and summer. So, so I have lightly set my face already because I find that if I lightly set my under eyes, this won't grab and like cling to wet areas. It'll just give me that brightening effect. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda powder first and like one of these Amazon puffs. I'm just gonna press it in. It is fully pink. Yeah, I'm gonna tap off the excess in the lid. And let's go in with this side, ready? Ooh, this has a scent. Ooh. Very perfumey very perfumey. Whoa. Ooh, okay. All right. So I'm going to let that one set for a minute. So that was this side. And then all I have to work with is this. I'm looking to see if I have a different container I can put this in. But I'm going to actually pour some in another lid just so I have more space. What I don't like about this is you can't really pour the excess back in because it's a sifter lid. You'd have to pry off the lid to pour excess powder back in. And then another little Amazon puff. This is so much brighter pink. Oh my. Oh boy. Ready? Oh my goodness. Can you guys see the color difference? This looks like a translucent powder. This looks like I put Pepto-Bismol under my eye. Can you guys see or is the light too bright? Let's see if I turn this off momentarily, if you can tell the difference. Can you guys tell now? This side is so much more pink than this side. Wow. Okay, now we're baking. So perhaps a lot of the pink will go away. But I mean, guys, look at the shade difference here. Can you guys tell? Bright pink, very pastel pink.
This is what it looks like so far. I'm a little nervous about what this is going to look like when all is said and done. So let me get a brush to uh, dust off the bake. I'm just going to grab a Juno & Co. fluffy brush to dust this away. Surprisingly, it didn't leave a pink cast on my face. That's so weird. I don't see pink anywhere. Do you? They both look very dry, but I honestly think I prefer the Ben Nye side. But do I think it really did much for brightening? Honestly, I don't really see any difference, do you? Let me try it along my jawline and see if it brightens there as well. So we had Huda on this side and we had Ben Nye on this side. It just looks so weird, pink and like translucent. I use like a loose pink powder sometimes for my blush. I wonder if this would have worked for a blush, but like I'm like I said, I don't see any of the pink left over here. So it's not leaving behind much pigment, if any. Are you ready? Oh, it's so strong. Oh, that smell. Mm. Okay, that did kind of brighten and lighten down here. Okay, now I'm seeing the pink. My jawline is, is more rosy tone than it was before. Did I think I needed that? No, a translucent powder would have lightened my jawline. I'm gonna say that the Ben Nye is just a little too pink for me, but I will post a picture of my daughter's skin tone here for you to see what they look like on her. And on her, the Ben Nye, the more pink one, looked so much better than the Huda one because the Huda one seems to have more of like a white base. This one seems to have more of a pink base. So the pink base product actually looked a whole lot more flattering on her brown skin. This one looked like straight up a white powder on her skin. So I would say if you have lighter skin tone, maybe go with the Huda. But if you have a deeper skin tone, this deeper pink might actually be more flattering on you. Like I said, I'm not seeing a whole lot of pink color or brightness under the eyes. And on the jawline, I am seeing a bit of that rosy tone. And over here, it I mean, it's slightly pink, but I could just use a translucent or lighter powder to kind of chisel out the contour on that side. So there you have it. This one is heavily fragranced. This one is not. This one is intensely pink. This one is not. So are they dupes? Kind of. The colors are not the same. The bases are not the same. The fragrance is not the same. The packaging is not the same. So I'm gonna say these are two different products, both with a pink tint. So I'm gonna say that these fail the dupe test because they really are not the same product. Um, they're just a little too different in packaging, scent, and pigmentation. So those are my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.